what's good y'all welcome back to the channel double a half here uh this is a video pretty much about a senseless freaking um murder um they're gonna they're gonna show what happened and i'm just gonna chime in oh yeah please like share subscribe all that stuff please if you're listening to this video like it smash that like button right now please it goes a long way thank you Pregnant victim Jalen Quinones was just 18 years old. Her baby girl was delivered afterward, and the family says the infant is fighting for her life tonight. Fox 5's Lindsay Watch joins us live from Upper Marlboro with this exclusive. Why she talk like that? Fox 5 joins us live. <laughs> what the? She talks straight through her goddamn nose. She like, <laughs> hold on, let me rewind it. I didn't notice that before. Yo, shit, she was talking. <laughs> Like a 1920s freaking radio ho show host. Years old. Her baby girl was oh, baby delivered girl. afterward, and the family says the infant is fighting for her life. To I find it hard to believe it. That's how she actually talks, man. I, saw <laughs> oh, I did not realize that she spoke like that until now. The five year old girl. <laughs> I guarantee you, once, once she's not in front of the camera, she'll be like, girl, my throat hurt talking like that old thing. <laughs> <laughs> or, or her nose or whatever. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Tonight, Fox 5's Lindsay Watch joins us live from Upper Marlboro with this exclusive story. Lindsay. Lauren and Tisha, we want to warn you about this video. There were two women who were shot, and the last you see of them, they are alive, and they are running away. This is still very difficult to watch. Just such a cold-blooded crime, and it left a baby girl without a mother and a father in jail. Pregnant until I turn around, chick. Pregnant. Jalen Quinones was pregnant, excited pregnant, to have pregnant, her baby. Pregnant, pregnant. A friend shared this TikTok video. <laughs> what are you doing, man? She got so many pictures, so many videos, you know, of her little belly bump. Jalen's sister, her mother, and friends gathered where this young woman spent her last moments alive. So, a few things. This is, I believe, in the D.C. area, right? A few things. 18 year olds shouldn't be bringing babies into the world, man. Not not in this world, the way it's set up now. You know, back in the old days, back in biblical days, yes, that, that's different, but we're a long ways from that. This day and age now, man. Because an 18 year old don't know nothing. So you, you can't do anything for that baby, man. Can't. You know? And then what that is, this, this is that vicious cycle I'm talking about. And regardless if the father's around or not, because most times the father would be like a, a young uh, kid too, because um, you you can't you don't know nothing to teach this kid nothing, and therefore you can't plan you can't plan nothing for your your child. So that that that's problem number one. You know these are issues that we we in the quote unquote black community need to address. We need to address that. You know that it's too normal and it shouldn't be normal. And, you know, whether we got to go to shaming people for doing it, then, hey, so be it. You know, just try that shit the fuck out. But we got to do something to curve the numbers, okay? Because it's not acceptable. It's not a good thing. Good things do not come from that, okay? Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible for a, a young parent to, to raise a great, outstanding, contributing member of society, especially in the black community. No, I'm not saying that it's impossible because, you know, anything is possible, but... No, it's just unlikely. You know, for instance, we know, you know, based off numbers, children born in single parent households don't do well. They're more likely to wind up dead or in jail, you know, by like a, a large margin. So why don't we get married and have our kids first? You know, I mean, we get married first and then have our kids. You know, we should start normalizing that. And it's not just about like a freaking agenda. It's about, hey, that's what the fucking numbers say. If you're going to have a child, don't you want the best for the goddamn child? You know? But hey, you know, we, we don't talk about that in the, in the quote unquote black community. We talk about a whole bunch of other shit. You know what I'm saying? And these all these other fake wokey woke niggas, especially these fake conscious conscious community pimps, they, they, they don't talk about that either, man. You know, they don't talk about stuff like that. They never hold up the mirror to the black community because... When 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 I do, people are quick to try to call me a coon or shit like that, and it's crazy because, you know, I'm I'm from, born, raised Brooklyn, New York, man, straight from the hood, 
all right? And I made a, uh, I've done a whole lot of shit in my life, a whole lot of dumb shit, you know, being young and dumb, but, you know, you know, when I was a child, I, I, I did childish things, and I no longer do that now, because I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm no longer a child. So, I can speak from experience, and from, you know, what, I, what I've seen in my life. So, I'm not just sitting here, you know, I'm not just still, like, you know, some of these other dudes that never lived the life at all, but then they're trying to, you know, trying to talk about it. And even if they haven't, and they want to talk about it, as long as it's the truth, we shouldn't try to castigate them as freaking coons and shit like that, because that's just not the case. I, I keep telling y'all who the real coons and who the real sellouts are, but y'all don't want to believe it. Y'all just want to keep running around after these niggas and fucking, you know, being freaking uh, groupies for these people. You know, and that's what you want to do. Hey, knock yourself out. You know what I'm saying? I don't really give a damn no more. Um, cause I, the people that, that are, that are understanding and coming into the, and coming into the understanding and the knowledge, they'll be better off. And then y'all just won't, you know, at the end of the day, y'all just be you know, still living in chaos and, 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 and inviting chaos into your goddamn life. So many pictures, so many videos, you know, of her little belly bump. Jalen. Hold on. I wanted to show something. And Have her baby. Pause it. A friend shared this TikTok video. <laughs> what are you doing, man? She got so many pictures, so many videos, you know, of her little... Uh, I think this is the corner uh, where she was uh, shot at in D.C. Okay. And that's a shirt that they're wearing um, for the um, young woman that got shot. Bump. Jalen's sister, her mother, and friends gathered where this young woman spent her last moments alive. No and that was a Gucci hat. That's a Gucci hat. How bad my day was going. She always found some way to make me smile, make me laugh. It was just before 5 in the afternoon Tuesday on Southern Avenue near the D.C. Prince George's County line. You see a group hanging out around a car. People walking by, including a child. Just behind them, two women cross Quinn Street. About 15 seconds later, you see them come running back across the street as if someone called or texted them. They go up to the people around the car, greeting them, giving hugs. Keep eyes on the man in the white hoodie. The women aren't there long. They walk back the way they were headed down Southern Avenue. Police say that's when Malik Johnson raises a gun and opens fire. The women running despite their injuries. We'll replay it back. When the shot is fired, people with Johnson seem to barely react. And then he just casually walks away the other direction on Southern Avenue. Police say... Mal That's crazy, right? Broad daylight. You know, and what, what would that be called? That'd be called... Uh, oh, I know. Black on black crime. So, we don't talk about that. This... this Young knucklehead with uh, degenerate, right? That's what he. That's what he is. You know, he he killed an eighteen year old pregnant pregnant woman, not even woman, pregnant girl. Um, over what? Lord the hell knows. Probably not nothing uh, serious. Number one, but hey, look, you know that kid's a victim too. He's a victim too. Now I'm not letting him off the hook for that shit. Hell no. But he that kid's a victim too, man. The kid's a victim of not being taught nothing. The fact that you just chilling on a corner, you know, says that you ain't got nothing going. You got nothing going for yourself, all right? So that's that's why you going to prison. That's what happens, man. When when when, when we leave our, our kids, kids, children, our, our young ones out there to the streets, they grow idle, man. That's what they do. They grow idle. And then when you out there, you know, on the streets, growing idle, you know, you're going to get taken out, whether it's the cops that come get you or somebody else that's idle, come take your ass the fuck out. That's just what happens. So, you know, that's why it's important when you're having a kid, you have to have a plan for your kid from from infancy all the way up to, to adulthood. Have a plan for that kid and that, and that kid's life. Now, am I saying that if you have a plan for the kid and the kid's life, that it's going to make the kid immune for the, the, the duration of their whole life? No, I'm not saying that. But what I will say is that it, the, the the chances of anything bad like that happening to that child greatly depreciate, greatly, okay? Leek's brother, Michael Johnson, is believed to be the father of Jalen's child. Police say... Or, I'm sorry, decrease greatly. 
He was there at the scene and is charged as an accessory. The newborn remains hospitalized. She's fighting for her life. A third person arrested, Bianca McDuffie, is also charged as accessory to murder. Investigators are not revealing if she was here too. The, the violence have increased in Prince George's County and, and in Washington, D.C. We have to do something about it. That second woman. There's yeah, something needs to be done about it, but you know, things like this don't make national headlines. Things like this don't don't get picked up by um, your, your favorite um, conscious spokesperson. <laughs> um, you know, no one talks about it. But things like this happen all the goddamn time in hoods all across the goddamn country. You know, uh, that's why I say it again, you can't be for the black community if you're not for the black man. You know, if you had a black man in these kids' households, situations like that wouldn't wouldn't happen. Okay. It's just it's just the reality of it, man. Kids need their fathers. They need them. They need their mothers too. But they need their fathers. And the only way the black community is gonna um, come back to to its greatness um, and and realize its true power is if we rebuild the quote unquote black man. Therefore, we can rebuild the quote unquote black home. And then in that process, we can build a strong quote unquote black community. And then again, a quote unquote black culture. Then again, quote unquote black wealth. But like there, there's steps. There's steps. And we have to take the proper steps. You know, I say it all the time, but there there are steps. And it starts today, right now, with you, whoever's listening to this video. If you if you're a young brother, know that you don't need to be having no kids, man, until until you are in a position where you, where you can plan out your own fucking life, number one. Because <laughs> if you can't plan out your own goddamn life, then you damn sure can't plan out a life for no damn child. So first of all, you got to be able to plan out your own fucking life. Then two, you got to find a woman, you know, a woman that understands proper order and understands the beauty of being a, a woman. All right? And is going to bring that to the table and then be able to teach that to uh, any daughter that you may have with her, you know? And obviously, you need to marry that woman and then go down that route. But that's how you do it. You know, that's how you do it. And then also be by like-minded people. If if your friends um, like what you're saying, like what I'm saying, then hey, then y'all can continue. And y'all can do it, do it together. No homo. But you get what I'm saying. Y'all can, you know, fall in that line together. And if not, hey, you know what? Sep distance yourself from them. I'm not saying y'all can't be friends no more. But you got to understand. You know what I'm saying? Um... Can can two be in agreement unless they walk together? How's that? Oh, oh man, Jesus! I forget how the goddamn the script the scripture reads. Um, can two walk together unless they be in agreement? And the answer is uh, no. You know what I'm saying? So like, they they are the they are like birds of a feather fly together. Okay, that that's pretty much what what that scripture uh, equals out to. So, um, if you have friends that aren't doing right. Then you know what? You're probably not going to be doing right. So you got to, you know, you have to make those changes. You have to be by like-minded people, you know? And that's just what it is. Because at the end of the day, if you want to have a nice life and live a nice, well-off life, and you want the same thing, and at the very least the same thing, if not more, for your child, then that's what you're going to have to do. And not just have kids that have fucking kids. Period, man. Period, point blank. But that's it on that, y'all.